Hi. Hello. <laughs> this is Obi. He's an immature astronomer, but he seems pretty mature. <laughs> I think the... <laughs> I'm mature. Th you're mature. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So um, the reason he's here is because we're talking about Mercury retrogrades. Yep. So from an astrological standpoint, we're going to talk about what that means and how it affects your life because it's March 22nd through April 15th. But what does it mean in terms of astronomy? This will yeah. help you with the astrological part because we all know astrology is really challenging. Yeah. So can you yeah. explain what does it mean when Mercury grows retrograde? Let's say this is Sun, this is Mercury, and it's revolving around Sun, right? And now Earth is there, and uh, now all around this planet system, there are stars all around. Okay. Now, what you see those stars are the zodiac signs. So, zodiac signs are behind uh, all around us. So, and there are 12 zodiac signs all around us. So, when the Mercury is moving, now if you're looking from Earth, now you it, it will point to one of the zodiac signs. Okay, so right? I'm going to look over here at yep. something. So, it's, it's, it's pointing behind. Now, as, as it's moving... Uh, once once from from this this angle or from the earth it looks like now it's it's pointing towards me but as it's coming closer it's still pointing towards me so the motion relative motion slows down so so instead of moving forward to the next sign it seems that mercury has slowed down in that sign okay and because it's still pointing towards me if you are on earth and as it goes past it it for for a brief period of time it 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 feels that instead of it, it was going ahead towards me and away from me. It it goes towards the other direction because it's it's now moving towards a different cycle again. And as it goes past the Earth, that's when it starts back again in in the right direction because now it's pointing to the first sign again, and then it starts back to with the first sign. So that's basically Mercury retrograde. So when when you are looking from Earth, it it its apparent motion with respect to its background stars, which are nothing but zodiac sign, it appears to be slowing down, and then as it slows down, it turns back before it's continuing its path again. So that's that's essentially Mercury retrograde. And that makes sense you. because we understand with Mercury retrograde there are delays. Yep. Like everything seems to slow down. We imagine that Mercury is napping or it's on vacation, yeah. and this is why things go haywire. Yeah. Yep, cool. and this this happens with uh, all the planets. So, but because Mercury is closer to Sun, it's uh, shorter uh, rotation duration around Sun. So it happens more often compared to let's say Jupiter or Saturn, which are way far. So so that happens only once in decades because they take that much time to rotate around Sun and go past the Earth. So it 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 usually those retrogrades are longer and slower. For, for outer planets. That's a good point. Because we have, what, like three to four Mercury retrogrades a year? Yes, because because if for every rotation of Earth, Mercury rotates around Sun that many times. So it goes past Earth that many times, and every time it goes uh, in front of Earth, it will feel like it's slowing down as it's coming towards Earth, and then it will again feel like it's going in the opposite direction, and as it continues its journey past the Earth, Earth's plane, it looks like now it's again back on the track or back on the Very cool. Road. Yep. So, um, and so they take like what, three to four weeks? Would that yes. vary or is it always the same amount of time? So it, it will vary a little bit. So all these orbits are not exactly round shaped. Uh, they are, they're varying uh, in, in lengths and sizes. So, so because they are not exactly round, uh, in some some sections of the of the of the sky or of the of the plane, it will be longer, uh, because it will take longer for Mercury to travel that longer duration. So, like sometimes it's an oval instead yeah. of a circle. Yeah, it's it's okay. it's almost always an oval. Ah, yeah. so, so that's if, why. If Earth and are on the shorter side, it will be quicker. Uh, if if they are on the longer side of the oval, then it will be longer. So. So why do we care about Mercury retrograde? Um, well, a lot of reasons, because it kind of wreaks havoc on our life three to four times.
times a year. This year is three. Next year is three. Maybe the year after it is two. I don't know if it... But then we have a couple years where it's four times a year. Yeah. So um, 2020 might be kind of a shitty year. Let's be real. Um, ooh, here's a good question mm-hmm. for you. So they say that this time mm-hmm. around... And I don't know what this means, so maybe mm. you can explain it. Okay. That Mercury is going retrograde in Aries. Yes, yes. So, yeah. so, so I've got my Earth here. Yes. We've got and, our opal and we sun. Got the sun. And this we is easier got, if I'm yeah. the sun. And yeah. you'd be the... And this is the Mercury. Okay. So, so if you look from the Earth, it is it is pointing to a sign, right? Oh, so it's pointing so, to Aries. So it's, 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 if, if it is here right now... It's pointing to Aries, and and that's where it starts its motion on the other side. So it came to it. So it came to Aries, uh-huh. okay, and then it started slowing down as it's moving closer to Earth or towards Earth. It started slowing down because we don't see it moving as fast from Earth, mm-hmm. and so it slows down in Aries and then turns into other direction, starts going into other direction towards towards the previous sign instead of moving ahead, and and that's when that's why it says it's it's retrogressing in Aries. Now, if if the Earth and Mercury are here, they are pointing to a different sign, probably Libra, and and that's where it's it's slowing down, and that's where it is, it is very neat. retrograding. So, with it being in Aries this time, it's Aries is a sign of like um, impulsivity, right? Mm-hmm. So you might be impulsive. Yeah. So um, you want to really watch out that you're not snapping yeah. at people. You want to take a deep breath and think about things, especially because Mercury is all about communication. So when Mercury goes retrograde from an uh, astrology standpoint, mm-hmm. um, you can expect crappy communication, really. Mm-hmm. Your emails can get lost. Um, it might be harder to focus and learn things. Yeah. It might be one of these times where... Um, you make a lot of speaking gaps or errors, having miscommunications, misunderstandings yep. with people, like communication chasms in yep. general. Um, you want to double check your work always. Yep. Edit everything, a lot of spelling errors. Um, it's like a time when it's hard to research to find the things you need. Your internet might not even be working, let alone having the ability to find the right websites. It's a poor time to okay. do negotiations. It's a bad time to buy anything expensive. Why? Because when Mercury goes retrograde, then things break, right? And would you rather um, have waited 30 days mm-hmm. and bought something that worked? So, like, if you're thinking about getting the iPhone X, <laughs> don't get it until after April 15th because mm-hmm. you are going to drop it and you will ruin it and mm-hmm. you don't have insurance for glass. Yeah, it, it did resonate with me. I know a few very folks who, who are kind of, breaking their phones and stuff so (laughs) (laughs) everyone will be breaking their phone though (laughs) um it's a time when like codes go wrong Mm -hmm. too yeah so like mailing things shipping is a problem sometimes packages getting delivered to the wrong house another reason why you don't want to buy expensive things someone could deliver that iphone you know (laughs) to your neighbor and then they keep it so um it's also a bad time to travel okay So flights are always delayed and um, like you want to double check your emails, make sure that you have the, you might get an email because communication is all jacked up saying that, okay, well, your flight is at this time, be to the airport by this time. And then you get there and they're like, oh, you already missed it. (laughs) Well, whose fault is it? Doesn't matter. It happened. Traffic delays, your navigation goes wrong. So in this kind of time period, you can expect to feel indecisive. Other people will be indecisive. Um, this is also a time when, like, in your love life, exes come back. Okay. <laughs> so watch out for that. But some people look forward to that. Some people don't. It depends on your past experience, yeah. right? Um, so those are kind of, like, the negative things that we think about. We think about Mercury going retrograde as a negative thing, mm-hmm. but it doesn't have to be if you know this, right? Yeah. So if you're cognizant of, like, your impulsivity – and, like, your ideas that you want to, like, run, rush ahead mm-hmm. and get through things. Um, just, like, kind of remember, oh, wait, this is a time period of three to four weeks when yep. things tend to go wrong. Yep. I need to stop and think for a minute. Because all of the Mercury stuff is related to air signs, mental activity, thinking, mm-hmm. speaking, writing. So, um, so things you don't want to do, for example, mm-hmm. I think we kind of already talked about, yep. but um, you wouldn't want to go get 
like a plastic surgery that's elective, right? Okay. I mean, if it's an emergency, do it, obviously, yeah. right? But, um, like, you would have a really botched boob job <laughs> if you did it in Mercury Retrograde. You know, you might have one going this way, one going that way, completely different sizes. You totally regret it. So massive, big expenses. If you can wait, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, let's see. You don't want to sell expensive things either, massive, like, big car repairs. Okay. Because maybe you won't get the right amount of money for it. Something could go wrong with the sale. If you're counting on the money, that would be a problem. It's not a good time to change jobs. Um, but it is a good time to make sure that you have backup plans. Back up your computer. Back yep. up your cell phone. Put all of your pictures on a flash drive. Um, you want to double check your emails. Make sure that they sent. Yeah. <laughs> like we said with the editing. Um, write stuff down so you don't forget. Because this is like your your mental progress kind of slows down, right? We're not as focused. Um, now, the positive things mm -hmm. are, even though like exes can come back, other things can come back too. Things that you okay. lost before okay. might show up. Yay! Um, old friends and family members might show up. Yay! Okay. Yep. And then, um, but that being said, new things. If I went and bought a really cool pair of sunglasses... Mm -hmm. And then I was, like, going to the airport to go mm. on my vacation. I would lose my sunglasses in the taxi, okay. probably, and never get them back because <laughs> I bought them in a Mercury retrograde. Yep. And then i get to the airport and find out my flight was canceled. See oh. what I mean? This, Yeah. So you have to be very smart with the way that you handle, you know, prep work in advance. Yep. Um, it's a bad time to launch a business because mm -hmm. nobody's going to see it or they won't decide to buy your product or... You know, your website will work half of the time. Sometimes it won't. <laughs> um, let's see. It's a good time to be very flexible and open to kind of just going mm -hmm. with the flow. Um, it's a good time to let go of things that don't work for you. Because when Mercury comes retrograde, mm -hmm. it's um, retrograde starts RE, right? So yeah. RE. It's a good time mm -hmm. to re-anything. One, reevaluate. Two, mm -hmm. refocus um redo things redesign things so any projects that you've started leading up mm. to it it's a good time to make changes to that okay get rid of the things that aren't working for you any frustrations you've had in the past like on a certain project they'll probably pop up in a more amplified way but mm. now you with um with it being in aries mm -hmm. and being like a fire sign which is all yep. about creativity and things like that you might come up with really good creative solutions that you never thought of before when so redesigning is good okay. does that make sense so um repairs repurposing but projects that have already been in existence in advance yeah. oh so i have another question for you mm -hmm. so coming into our next retrograde in okay. July, from mm -hmm. July 7th to the 31st, so basically our whole July, okay. <laughs> which is kind of a bummer, um, it says that it will be in Leo and in Scorpio. Okay. How does that happen? So, uh, so these signs are usually uh, made up of a set of stars in, in the sky. Mm -hmm. And um, so, again, these uh, 12 signs are further divided into 36 constellations. Boy. And So each yeah. sign has three constellations? Yes, but uh, the constellations on the side are, like, shared by two signs. Mm. Okay. So uh, because of that, a constellation might be part of both signs. So if, if it is on the cusp of it, then that's when... The retrograde, the entire period can span across the signs because it's it's not entirely in one sign where it is stopping and turning back. It's stopping and turning back in one sign and then starting to go back in the right direction in the other sign. So so the whole retrograde period spans across two signs, which are usually next to each other. So you said Leo and, and Libra? And uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, yeah. Leo and Scorpio are next to each other. So so that That's... is why. Because I thought that doesn't make sense when it's fire and water, which are opposing. Mm -hmm. But I guess that's probably not making sense to me because I don't know where in the universe yeah. these line up. Yep. Good thing you're here. 